Hello everyone, welcome to Cornflower Crafts. My nickname is Corn, and I want to thank you for joining me today. This collab, which is encouraging me to stamp more, is hosted by Susan Heartstrings. And of course, you would use the hashtag stamp play. This is an open collab. And Susan said, you know, no day. You don't need to post it on a certain day or a certain time. And she says several times in her video, no pressure. And those are the collabs that I can join because I have to have them open and artist choice so that my stress level stays low. Because I'll be honest with you, if it's high, I end up in a hospital. So don't want that. So what she's done to her collab is to encourage us to use our stamps. And she's so sweet. She said by doing that, she's also encouraging herself to use her stamps more. I am going to link the video where she talks about this collab in the description box below. If you don't already know Susan, please, if you have time, go by and check out her channel. Because even if you don't join the collab, it is it, it is a very sweet channel. She is adorable. She has the voice of an angel. And she's very positive and kind. And I think you all would really like her and talented. And so what I used today, the only coloring, as you can see, the only coloring I did was with um, my Tombow markers 992 and 990. And I used them on this, or yeah, it's one stamp, but it's by Deep Red. And I think these stamps are wonderful. And I love supporting um, businesses that are here in the USA. And that's who they are. This stamp is called Old Books Border. The SKU is, <clears throat> excuse me, 3X405654. I'm going to get that close in case, let me see, in case my accent threw you off. <laughs> this is stamped on mixed media paper that is 120 pounds. This being Craft Smith, I'm pretty sure this is Michael's, but I got it at Ross for $4.99. And so I stamped it on that paper, and I think placement-wise, if I had gone over just a little bit more, you know, it would have connected with this book, because you're supposed to be able to just keep going. And um, what I'll do, you could see what I did with my markers. I wanted my pages, just the pages, to look vintage, old. So that's why I did that. And when it comes to these markers, you can go over your area once, and then if you go over it a second time or a third, you're gonna create a darker color, and that's what I tried to do with my shading right at the binding. And um, I used diff the two different colors because I wanted some not to be as old as others. And I'm one, and so is my husband, we love it we love black and white, to be honest, and we love artwork where it's done with just like shading. It's just a line and a line and a line and a line and a line, very close together, uh, much like this. This is going to to create the shading. We just think that's wonderful. And this one at an angle, just so that's why I leave these stamps alone. The thing is, when it comes to these stamps. I also did the Victorian ladies, and this SKU number is 5X704294, and I hope that's showing up. And this is all one stamp, but the way I like to use it, I cut them. I don't know, but I cut them. And because I like to use them on journal pages or I like to 
stamp just one and then I know it's it's probably easy to do it the other way but that's I'm happy to do it this way um and then you know do the die cutting and everything and I wanted to tell you all to I use the Tim Holtz stamping platform by tonic I think you cannot beat this one for rubber stamps. The Misty is wonderful, I think, for clear stamps. But I prefer this one for the rubber stamps. And um, so I'll show you a little closer how they came out. If I add any color to these, which I probably won't, but if I do, you know I craft a lot of times with the color pink. It, or green or what have it would be just to maybe decorate the collar or to decorate the trim of the dress you know something like that it would not be totally done because I don't think it needs it personally none of them need it personally I don't think but but isn't she beautiful and she has her umbrella and then this one, like I said, um, I did this, put this one in my last journal because I think she's a Victorian lady that looks like she's either going to the ballet or to the opera. And maybe flirting with a handsome gentleman with her fan. <laughs> and then I love ovals and I just think that almost reminds me of a cameo. So that's why I did her this way. And I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me today. And I'd also like to thank Susan for this open collab and for helping me to use my stamps more and hopefully get the techniques down better. I'm hoping. And you all have a great morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody. Take good care.